Welcome back to Plan ORE. This is the third part of the introductory video on what an OSCE is. OSCE is one of the components of the ORE Part 2 examination. And in this part, we would be discussing more about the skilled OSCE. Please have a look at Part 1 and Part 2 for the general features of an OSCE, some things regarding the written OSCE and the actor OSCE. So stay tuned for the part 3 of the skilled OSCE and if you like us, come join us at Plan Wari or contact us through any of the following. Starting with the factors to consider for a skilled OSCE. The time again is very similar to the actor and the written OSCE and it too lasts for 6 minutes where you are told the question in the first minute outside and you need to perform it in 5 minutes inside. You have to be very thorough with your skills. So be very precise and you need to practice in order to be very fast in completing them as you have to finish it in 5 minutes. Also while performing the OSCE you need to follow an organized order by doing it in the right way. And the more you practice the more confident you get. You should be able to understand what exactly you need to do because you will be provided with a lot of data and apparatus, so you need to utilize them judiciously. This blue circle over here gives you a few examples of the skilled OSCEs and the good thing is that there are just a few skilled OSCEs, so you can practice them till your exam for a lot of number of times because of the limited number of skilled OSCEs. So what do you need? We would recommend that you get a few skill OSCEs at home so that you can practice them. For example, the rubber dam kit and the suturing kit. We would also recommend you to buy a splinting kit and x-ray holders if you can invest some amount of money. It is always good to keep practicing the skill OSCEs at home so that you have an idea of how they have to be done in the exam. A few of skilled OSCEs can be made at home like the hand washing, the waste disposal kits and the x-ray arrangement and we will be sharing tips in the subsequent videos. If you are not someone who wants to buy the skilled OSCEs or make them at home, you can always subscribe or practice at sessions which happen. You can either subscribe with us or with any of the faculties out there whom you trust. Books are usually not required for the skilled OSCEs and a lot of notes are available out there so you can use them, again making sure that they are in accordance with the guidelines. Make sure that whenever you practice you have the reminder bell at two times because you want to not be able to see the clock in the exam. We at Plan Wari would cover all skilled OSCEs through online videos where we would demonstrate on how it has to be done step by step slowly and then we would also show it to you how it has to be done in 5 minutes at a faster pace. So let's take an example of a skilled OSCE. For example, you are given to suture. So the first minute outside you would be given a question like you have just removed a tooth and now you need to give two single interrupted sutures using the proper equipment. So you need to first choose the proper equipment and then give two sutures which are single and interrupted in nature. So once you enter you would be provided with a tray of instruments and a suture pad. Once you enter you need to quickly find out what all is there and start in an organized way like you start by saying I will wash my hands and wear gloves. You won't in real wash your hands because that's going to take time but you will mention that you will do so so that the examiner knows that you understand the proper protocol. If gloves are provided you will wear them if not you will just mention. You will then pick up the instruments carefully from the tray whichever you require to place a suture. So remember that there will be a lot of instruments on the tray which you won't require. So make sure that you will pick up the ones which you do. 
like the suture cutting scissors and the needle holding forceps, the suture material and so on. And then you need to carefully place two interrupted sutures and you need to finish it in less than five minutes or in approximately five minutes. So have a thorough knowledge about the topic and follow a systematic order. So the best way is to keep practicing at home and that is why we recommend you to buy a few skill or skis at home and make a few. So whenever we would be doing a skill or ski together, we would provide you with the notes and guidelines beforehand and then we would show how a skill or ski is performed step by step through an online session and then also show how it has to be done at a faster pace in the exam scenario. We would give you on tips on how to practice them fast and how to make them at home and which you need to buy them. And we would also give you tips to practice in less than five minutes. Now, for any OSCE, whether it's actor, written or skilled, you are marked in a similar way. And now we will talk about how will you be marked, which is general for all the three OSCEs. So they have a mark sheet and every OSCE room has an examiner, but in the written OSCE, they don't have one. You are all alone. Every OSCE is marked somewhere between 10 points, maybe a little more. And you need an approximate 7 or 8 to pass. However, the good news is that you don't need to pass in all OSCEs to pass overall. So even if you fail in 2 or 3 OSCEs or borderline in 4 or 5 or maybe a little more, there is still a chance that you make a pass overall. But the best thing is to be very thorough and try and pass in all OSCEs. So thank you for listening. We have a lot more videos out there. Please have a look at them. And if you like us, please come join us at Planuari. And ask us any questions if you have. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.